Hi guys, my name is Jimmy Allison and I'm an Ableton Live certified trainer and I teach online lessons. So to trigger scenes in machine with Ableton Live clips, let's go into machine. Over on the right, you'll see a little gear, click on that and then select MIDI scene change. And this is where you can pick what kind of information machine will respond to, MIDI note or program change. I prefer to use MIDI note because you can do some more fluid sequencing with MIDI clips. And then you wanna pick what channel machine will listen to. I choose channel 11 to avoid any potential conflicts with any of my other gear. And I also wanna bring your attention to retrigger. What retrigger will do is retrigger the clip when it's launched. But that's not what I want. I want retrigger off. So it keeps the playhead wherever it is and just starts playing, picking up the clip from where it's at. That is my preference. Now back in Ableton Live, you're gonna to need to make a MIDI track to put your clips on, set the MIDI from input to no input, the MIDI to to machine, and then choose whatever MIDI channel you're listening to MIDI on. And then for good measure on my machine track, I like to have the MIDI from to just to listen to the machine only. And now you can use MIDI notes inside a clip to trigger scenes. If you start from the bottom note, C negative two, that will be scene one, and then just work your way up consecutively for the next scenes. And one thing I like to do is have a, an empty scene for silence. So now that's pretty much it. You can trigger scenes in machine with Ableton clips. Now here's a nice little trick over in arrangement view I like to do. And this is why I like the re-trigger to be off. So to play it, rest, Trigger. That's pretty much it. And if you'll notice, I do my trigger right in the middle of the bar. So that way, I'll get a nice one bar rep. Anyway, my name is Jimmy Allison. I teach Ableton Live, Machine, and other VSTs, including Resolume VJ Software online. Check out my website for more information.